After leaving Joshua Tree, I actually went over to Quartzsite for about a week. I didn't film a whole lot down there. I went down there to visit the RTR, the Rubber Tramp Rendezvous, famous from Bob Wells' group, Homes on Wheels Alliance. Basically, it's a group that is built up to teach people who, in many cases, are forced to live in their vans how you can do it cheaply. Of course, the famous YouTube channel Cheap RV Living. It was a good little conference, all free. Everything is pretty much free. They accept donations, of course. And a lot of it is, hey, lower income people that are kind of forced to live in their vans. It was a good time. I didn't film a whole lot there. I didn't think it was absolutely amazing. Everyone must go. In fact, I left a little early. But that being said, uh, it was a pretty good conference. It was worth going to at least the first time just to see what it's about. But I got a little itchy feet after being in Quartzsite for 10 days. And so I took off and I started heading over down to visit Organ Pipe. Of course, if you're visiting Organ Pipe National Monument, which is right on the Mexican border. In fact, it's so close to the Mexican border, my phone welcomed me to Mexico. <laughs> Go figure. Uh, but with that... Um, I went down there and there's a little campground that's about two miles north of the entrance and this is outside of a little city you can probably not even find with a map called Y, Arizona. This one is one of the most stunning campgrounds I've visited so far. It was so dark in the middle of nowhere, it made night photography perfect. And of course, being next to a military base, I got a chance to see a few interesting things in the night sky. Yeah, these are uh, experimental military things of some form or another. Very fascinating. They just appear hover for five ten minutes and then disappear you can see in their reflection you can see smoke they are clearly emitting some form of smoke but makes them most mysterious as they're just like hovering lights that are certainly a form of combustion you can tell how they flicker just like a star flickers it's different from a planet which is reflecting light does not flicker how you can tell a planet from a star in the night sky these are flickering. There's some form of internal combustion to them. After taking several nighttime photographs and <laughs> neglecting a few of the daytime photographs of this wonderful place, I decided in the morning it was time to head on up to Organ Pipe Cactus National Monument. This is in the southern portion of Arizona and it borders the Mexican uh, the Mexican border down there and some of the roads were closed due to border crisis issues and things but uh, I was able to do the Asia Mountain Trail which is a very nice drive it's an Asia Mountain Drive I think it's called fabulous little drive and it just gets you just in the heart of why they call this the Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument it's just such a beautiful place so reminiscent of the old west and in fact when i start thinking about wanting to visit the west the one thing i've always wanted to see is these giant cactuses and i remember seeing the very first one when i visited yuma arizona years ago but one of those just outside of the airport is nothing compared to what you see in here which is just this absolutely amazing amazing place watch where you're walking i wasn't paying attention to this it got me she kind of hurts a little bit I'm going to have to carefully get it off. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, that sucked. <laughs> Might have drawn blood. the Arch Canyon Trail and it's going to continue to go on this way the primitive trail and there is a developed trail that comes out here about half a mile or so um, 
I just think in the interest of time today that uh, I do need to be back to get a little bit of work done. We're not going to go all the way up to the arch. Hey, I've been to arches. There's hundreds of them. Walked under many. But uh, the arch here you can actually see from the parking lot. You can't see it from here. It's at the top of this canyon. And there's a little bit more back here, but uh, really fascinating place. This is a volcanic canyon, so uh, produced some from some volcanic eruptions. And right here, we're in the area without a lot of cactuses. There's one like right there. Other than that, a couple more up there. You may not be able to see them on the camera, but uh, once we get back out into the sunlight, heading on back that way, there will be a lot of different types of cacti out there. And uh, anyway, this is uh, just a really nice hike. There is another one that uh, I'm planning on at least doing part of it down the road a little bit further, but this was a good spot to just stop and get a little bit of blood flowing out here. Beautiful little place and uh, fairly desolate out here. But anyway, we'll see what else we can find in the monument here. The drive through Oregon Pipe is absolutely stunning. Now this road is easily passable by cars, but it is very bumpy on over half of it. It's, if memory serves me, about a 20 or so mile loop one way after you get past the one point. So once you cross that point, it is the point of no return. There was about, I'd say maybe a third of it was paved, particularly going up the hills. And during those times, you are surrounded by giant fields of just massive cacti on either side. The architecture, the just the, the mountains, the canyons, the way the road carves through it, it's just, it's some reminiscent of amazing peace that moves beyond the soul. It's just such a wonderful place to go. So I can say if you get the chance to go on down to Oregon Pipe Cactus, uh, which is a couple hours from the Tucson area, definitely get a chance to go. It is absolutely stunning, very beautiful place. And the reality is this is just this is just the type of place you want to get to. Uh, these are, are places that are good for the soul. It's good to get out there in the middle of nature and see nothing but cactuses and you know, maybe a few cars and crazy tourists. Just avoid those, you know, smugglers you see the occasional signs for. But regardless, this is a fabulous national monument to go and visit. So we're going to leave this video here for now. Thanks for coming along on today's journey. Subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so. Hit that notification bell and we will see you a little bit further down the road.